Hi, my name is An Young. Okay. I'm a martial art instructor and a owner and chief instructor of Diversify Martial Art Academy here in Pennsylvania. I was just a kid when I come to the United States. I'm sure that uh, everybody is familiar with the Vietnam War, so I was a refugee. There's a church in uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania that was very generous and sponsored me. That's why I come here. And uh, that's when I start my new life here in the, uh, in the United States. I love martial art. It's like love at first sight when I first seen a martial art uh, demonstration. Uh, there's just something about martial art that uh, really caught my eye. But then I realized that there's something else that I'm looking for in my life. And that is a direction, a uh, motivation. Uh, role model perhaps, I become a martial instructor, not because of um, the pursuit of uh, fame or fortune, but uh, as much as martial had helped me, I just realized that if I can pass this on to other people, that might need the help just as much as I did. Teaching martial art is something that I really enjoy, okay, and I wanted to do it, like I said, because I realized the benefit of martial art training to build an individual character, personality, work ethics, and basically to become a responsible individual in society. Martial art training uh, to me is beneficial for all ages because um, as long as you're alive, I believe that you will meet people and martial art teaches you to leave a good impression with everyone that you meet. Obviously, none of us want to get into any physical confrontation. Then why do we train so hard? We train our personality, our character, our manners, our courtesy, so we don't have to fight. In that case, we are putting our contribution to promoting peace, friendship, companionship with others. So obviously, martial art training is not just for self-defense only. Okay, it's uh, to build yourself into a different person, a more a positive individual, okay, that you can make a positive contribution to society because obviously uh, people's attitude and everything else can be uh, swayed to the negative side. But hopefully with training and proper discipline, okay, we can go away from that. Okay? And that's bring the world together. I have a privilege, a privilege to train under one of Bruce Lee's uh, original student, um, Grandmaster Richard Postillo. Bruce Lee's martial art training concept or philosophy is totally unique and different than anybody else. Bruce Lee looks at uh, the world of martial art as one. A kick's a kick's, a punch a punch. Okay? There's no nothing different or special about anything. So what Bruce Lee's martial art uh, philosophy taught me was instead of looking for differences in everybody, let's look at the common thing that every style has. There's no secrecy about that. Okay? And from there, when you look at the common thing, then you promote unity. Instead of looking at the differences, then you promote segregation. And that concept should apply to real life also. So instead of uh, looking at the different from this ethnic group or that ethnic group or this item, that item, this food, that food, or this country, that country, why don't we just find the common thing that binds us together? And that's bring the world together. And that's one thing that I um, really enjoy about my martial art pra uh, practice or uh, training is that I meet new people, new friends from all different walks of life. And that's the beauty of uh, martial art training. Not just never learning to fight, but to get along, meet new people, bring the worlds together. My name is An Young. I am Lebanon PA.